Good day, good day, Spartan Willy here, and welcome back to our McLaren Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. Alright, so second upload of the day. I hope you're still having a fantastic day if you're watching when these go live. If not, I hope you're enjoying your new day. But that being said, we've got Spa Frankshaw today, back to back from Hungara Ring. Um, hopefully we can have a bit more of an eventful race this time out as compared to last time out. It was quite routine, but um, it gets a bit like that towards the end of the second season, especially when you already got such a good starting point with McLaren. But let's jump straight in. So we're going to go ahead and design a new part here. We're going to do a front wing, I believe, just because why not? We've already got one upgraded front wing. And of course, the first upgrade is always a big upgrade. So if we can get a second front wing, so the second car is not as far behind, that would be amazing. So let's go ahead and build that part. All right, so any sort of prep is going to be limited because it's such a quick turnaround. Um, three days to be precise, but we're going to work on the engine a bit because of course it is important around Spa. So whatever work we can do to the engine can help us out that little bit more. But we've got so many parts going here. We're probably going to need a big build to sort of catch up on improving all of these parts. Because we've got the rear wing, suspension, front wing and two new brakes that we've also got to get to max performance. So maybe we'll chuck in an engine, a big engine build between the next races. So we do have the option for a vote here, but honestly I don't want to give 1 million to the FIA. Even though we've got 207, it's the principle that counts. And um, obviously we're not going to play a third season, so we're just going to reject that. Alright, qualifying here at Spa, and as you can see, rain is the topic of the day. We actually lost a Mercedes in Q1 um, due to the rain, so it's going to play quite the factor in Q3 as well by the looks of it. We're going to go ahead right to the end so we can get the maximum trap grip. Trap grip, sorry, cannot speak. Um, but it's quite a long lap around here, so I'll send them out in about three minutes, make sure they get plenty of time to go around. Uh, yeah, that should be plenty. We got the setups bang on the head with 99% with Lando, which is fantastic. And with only one run, we really want to make sure we smash it. But uh, Ricardo at 99% as well. They've got all the resources they need. Just need a good lap. They both make it round in time. And Leclerc takes pole position. Second and third. It had to be a perfect lap. Of course, there's only one run. But um, there it is. So we are not in pole position for the first time in a while, I feel like. All right, race day. And the sun is back out. So I'm loving the decision to go on softs in Q2, like always. But we're going to go race trims, light-footed. You already know the, the setup we run. Um, best setup in the game, light-footed. Don't at me. But push, overtake. Hopefully we can get a good start. We got a pretty average start at the Hungaroring. ring. Luckily we could block them off. But um, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully the clerk can get off to a poor start. I mean, even if he doesn't, it creates quite an interesting dynamic going forward in the race. But Ricardo just jumps in perfectly. What a start from Daniel there. Forces Leclerc a bit off the track there. But what a start. Straight into the lead of the Grand Prix. Oh my days, what the heck happened to Lando? PG channel there, as you can tell. But medium, push a bit, and we'll look to get Ricardo onto a more sustainable fuel mode. But Norris dropping down even further. He is well down the grid with Russell, who went out in Q1. So... Down at 18th, he just keeps dropping places. We gave him a bit of fuel to play with to try and recover some places, but oh my days. I mean, we've got strategy to come back, but I, I, he must have gone off or something. But from P3 in the grid, it's all the way down to P18. Back up to P16 now, but Lando's got quite the job ahead of him to try and rescue the 1 2 for us here. And he's next up on the overtake, yeah, there it is already. Oh no, didn't quite get it. Around the outside of Giovinazzi, we'll get it on the straight, of course, with that amazing McLaren. Engine, to be fair, Lando's having a lot of fun. He said that was a good battle. He's got all the resources available to, available to him on the fuel and tire wear wise. Ricardo's settled into this race a little bit. But it's time for the next Alfa Romeo in Bottas. Of course, he's down there this season, like in the real life transfer. Um, and down there in this race as well, as down the inside goes Norris. Doesn't quite have him under brakes, which is very disappointing. He's got a new set of brakes and there. He should be getting every car on the brakes. Those brakes are ridiculous. Um... But he's battling with Valtteri Bottas. We've got a little message at the bottom there. Surely he gets him soon. He's got Russell trying to follow him close behind. And there it is. Bottas sort of moves to the side. Maybe lets him through. Knows that he's got... You know, save the tyres for another battle. But next up is Oscar Piastri in the Alpha Tari. And he should have just sent it there, mate. Going down Schumacher as well. Didn't send it though. But now he's battling with Oscar Piastri. And look at that. On the straight. Under the braking. Ooh. And we've, he's done a Leclerc, Ricardo and Leclerc there, but Norris gets passed in this instance. And Leclerc's keeping his gaps on Ricardo. I keep looking over, it's still 0.6. And um, 
Yeah, we're just watching Lando fight through the field here. It's quite entertaining, I'm not going to lie, as he's now fighting with... Oh, my days, Lando. He's a great driver, but in the in the field, we're starting to see a bit of frailty from him. But up into 13th, he's now fighting with Russell, and the Alpha Tyra will also pass him, and that's hard to watch, to be honest, as he will finally get past Oscar Piastri yet again and get re-overtake the Mercedes, and he's just sort of switching between overtaking them boys and falling behind them then overtaking them again but hopefully we can get past Schumacher break the cycle a little bit um, what car is that again Prema so he's got two Premas ahead of him he's got Russell behind him I swear if Russell wasn't there we'd be much higher up the grid now um, but he finally gets past Schumacher and Theo so nice and quick there almost back into the points for Norris everyone else in front of him still got a pit so the strategy is for sure in his favor we're going to have a car to chill on the tires he's just laughing up in front he'll get a win and i mean right now as things stand lando out of the points the gap at the top really does condense down to 16 points but i think we're going to see a bit more of a recovery from lando to come down. okay so well into this race now lando is still in eighth he's still got a pit as well ricardo's out in front laughing still he's been stuck behind hulkenberg though norris and he finally gets past them it's probably yeah as a nico made it difficult and he's been behind him for probably 10 laps now. So I brought you guys back right at the right time. Please don't give it right back to him, Lando. After all that, I um, mean, we've still got a pit stop. He maybe does. I don't know if those mediums go right to the end. But it looks like we could just give it back to him, and we will. Very, he's just, he's not very racy today. He's racy, but also not. He's not been as clinical as maybe we wanted him to be. Um, he's sort of going a bit ham on the fuel. So we'll look to calm that down. Speed through this race a little bit. Look to bring him in in the next few laps. We'll do it now before these tyres go off a complete wall. Obviously, long lap around here. We did rearrange the pit crew a bit. So hopefully less chance of a mistake. But, I mean, it's not a bad recovery from Norris. And it will make the driver's championship a bit more interesting um, on the, the team championship. I think that might almost be mathematical. <laughs> to be honest, um, it's always a bit harder to wrap up the team championship mathematically as there's such a big um, mathematical chance of you throwing away, you know, not getting a point in the last eight races and another team winning and getting first and second. So mathematical is always a bit harder on the team side of things. But um, yeah, realistically, we've wrapped that one up too. But Norris up into 8th after his pit stop. Still a few pits ahead of him, I reckon. But the gaps between the, t the cars are quite large now. Russell in front as well. He's actually put off the one-stop. So I'm proud of the AI, to be honest, pulling off a one-stop. Hopefully we can get him on track. We'll give him a bit of resources. Um, Ricardo's still got to come in for his pit stop. He's absolutely laughing. We'll bring him in now. He, I, I forgot Ricardo was in the race, for to be honest. Um, but he just blue flags Vettel now in 17th. So that is quite a late blue flag um, obviously longer lap around here so harder to do but hopefully Ricardo has a good pit stop come out in front of Leclerc and he will all good on the pit stop front hopefully he can come out in front of the Ferrari he does by a big margin it's only a 10 second pit stop around here apparently more like 12 seconds but got a bit of fuel to burn let him burn his fuel we're going to jump on board Norris again he's still making his way up through the fields um and he's now all over the back of Norris. Uh, Russell, sorry. He's Norris. We're going to give him all the resources. So hopefully we can get past him first time of asking. Chuck it in 12 times. Right all over the back of him. Well, screen went blurry there for a second. And he can't get past Russell. Come on, mate. You've got all the resources in the world. You can't push on this fuel for that long. In fact, it's almost at the delta. So we're going to stop pushing on the fuel. He's still got all the tyres. That being said, the tyres are about to overheat. So come on, get past him on this turn. No, he just cannot get the move past. Go on a push to try and raise it up a stop it raising at quite the rate i think Leclerc's gonna to have to pit again so it makes it very comfortable up there but there we go beautiful around the chicane that was legendary from lando there we're seeing some good moves just hopefully doesn't give it back to him that seems to be the pattern doesn't it give him a bit of fuel so he can power away but now 10 seconds down the road to science he's on very worn medium so we could still see him get up to fifth after going down to 18th so good recovery drive he'll probably get driver of the day in real f1 but um yeah, putting in an absolute shift. To be fair, we didn't actually make up that many positions in the pits either. And most of it's been on track. But you can see the toll of the gap that's happened because of it. I mean, it's a 50-second gap to his teammate. And Norris is in the faster car as well. But he sets a faster slap while pushing on this tyre. And we're going to have to... His tyres are overheating and we're using quite a bit of fuel here. So we're going to look to calm it down a bit. Hopefully we can get signs. But I don't think we will. He looks like he can go to the end on that tyre. Um, stuff it. Let's give him all that and give him high on the fuel mode. Hopefully we can grab him. We're going to jump on board Ricardo so we don't miss him across the line. The clothes on the softs, the super soft, so he's going to try and get past Hamilton. It's all going on here at Spa. What a race. 
Um, not the best race in a points perspective, but we've seen probably more overtakes in this rain, race than we've seen all season, to be fair. Um, bit of rain and a turn one mistake led to that, but Ricardo on his penultimate lap, he'll cross for an easy, cross the line for an easy win here in Spa. Um, final lap, here we go, smash through it. The Australian Anthem will ring out in the stands. There it is. Yes, awesome. Get in there. Beautiful from Ricardo. Good drive. It all stemmed from that amazing start where he just jumped the clear straight away, who honestly pitted his second place away as he's now behind Hamilton and won't catch him as Hamilton finishes. But Norris is going to come home in a respectable P5, considering that he was third last um, on lap one. To come home in P5, not too bad. He probably won't be happy with that one. Uh, no, he's a decent race. Not the response I was expecting, but quite a, uh, you know, I enjoyed that quite a bit. So Norris temporarily loses his spot in the podium. Ricardo will take the top step. Norris did get the fastest lap, though, so he got 11 points from today's race. Um, yeah, Ricardo back on the top step. Hopefully, he can win a couple more races, make this a bit more interesting the driver championship. I'll look at the cars, try and make them as even as possible. It's always difficult, but I'll try and make them as even as possible. It's also a little bit mental that we can have the start that we did and still come first in the teams. Um, that's just the type of season we're having right now. We can do no wrong. But um, continuing on here, and we'll go on to the mail, answer our question that we've probably heard 16 times already this season. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo because he won the last race. That's just how I do it. Don't want to lose marketability, especially... What's our marketability at right now? It's got to be 100. 95%. I think that's the max, to be honest. Yeah, that will be it for this episode. A slightly long one, but we have plenty of overtakes and a bit of action on track, which we've been lacking this season, if I'm being honest. But good comeback drive from Lando and a complete drive from Ricciardo will seal a good Spa Frankershot GP. Next up, we've got Zanvort in the rain. So that's another race to look forward to. Look at that rain all weekend. So I'll see you for that one. If you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already we're so close to 900 like two subs off so i mean the world to me if you could hit that sub button and yeah that'll be all for this one thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one